Hello everyone, and welcome to the first installment of the Juicy Game Corner. Um, since I'm new to the gameplay commentary, I decided to make my first commentary on a pretty easy game. Since I'm doing live commentary, I might stutter a little bit, but I'll probably get better as I go along. Anyway, so, if you didn't know, this game is based off the movie Aladdin. It's called Aladdin, simply enough. And it's a really fun game. You know, if you've never played it, I suggest you play it. It's not hard, to say the least. But, I mean, it's definitely worth your time. I mean, um, it has a lot of replay value. I, whenever I feel, um, like nostalgic or something, I'll just pop in this bad boy, play it a little bit, and relive the good days of a child. Yeah. This game, it's, um, it's pretty much a really linear platform. There's not... There's not much you can do outside of, there's no exploring or anything, like most um, Super Nintendo games, but they do have one thing to make it hard, it's um, red crystals, I, you saw me grab one earlier, grabbing those red crystals are harder than, um, are pretty much the hard thing in this game to do, grabbing all of them is kind of difficult, um, I remember I've only done it once. Because I would always, always fail on the stupid magic carpet ride level. Always. And it's so annoying. Because you have to know the exact pathway. And I haven't played this game in so long. So I don't even remember the pathway. So I'm probably not going to manage to get all red crystals. But I'll definitely try. So anyway, um... The first thing you want to do in this game, you definitely need that, um... That cloth that helps you float. That'll make the game so much easier. You can also use apples to stun bad guys, which is hilarious because he, he's, he's a starving street rat, right, from the movie. Why would he be throwing apples? He could eat both apples. That is such a waste of apples. <laughs> Freaking, uh, I mean, it's just really inefficient. Like, he's running around stealing food. He has 58 apples. That would last him a long time. That would be enough food for more than a week for anyone. Because I don't think anyone would eat more than 58 apples in a week. But no, he, he's just gonna throw it at bad guys and stun them momentarily and then jump on them. I never understood why in video games jumping on bad guys made made them die. Like, I'm pretty sure if you jump on someone, they would just yell, ouch. <laughs> I don't think they would die. <laughs> and, um, but yeah, I mean, you know, I guess Mario started that trend of jumping on bad guys for the, um, for the win. And, um,. Yeah, so, if you didn't know, I'm playing this on an emulator, so, you know, there's save states and everything, but I'm not going to use those. I, I find those kind of cheap, and, um, not fair to use. So, I'm going to play the game as organic as I can. The good thing about using an emulator is I can get almost any game for free. So, if you guys just leave comments in the, in the section below, and you give me, um, you can give me suggestions, and I can go look them up and play them. Because... I, I have more free time lately. I, I might need to take a little break soon because of midterms. But other than that, I'm pretty much I'm pretty sure I can put up maybe one or two videos a week easily. So yeah, I just decided to start with this game since it's simple and I can kind of focus on commentating instead of playing. Freaking hate me, arrow guys. Damn it, I keep throwing apples. I'm such a freaking food waster. The people in Africa will be mad at me for wasting time of food. I guess I'm an American. Anyway. So yeah, I mean, leave me comments and I'll definitely try out new, uh, try out those games. Especially if I've never heard of them. Because if i never heard of them, you know, it might have been a good game and I missed out on it. And it would be fun. It would be fun to play a game I've never played before. And then you could watch my reaction to the new game as I probably get butt raped in them. Besides that though, you know, I'm also planning on doing um, Donkey Kong Country 2. Ah! Donkey Kong Country 2, definitely one of my favorite childhood games, and um, Super Groove and Ghost, a game I never managed to beat as a child because it was so hard, and um, and when I was finally about to beat it, my mom decided to donate to Ecuador. She gave she gave my Super Nintendo and the game to my family. You don't know how mad I was that day. I wanted to hit her, but you know, other than that, so yeah. I mean, um, this game is fun, you know, not hard, 
And um, I just love jumping and flying around with the turban. But yeah, so like I was saying, with the red crystals, they're much harder to get. Like this one, for example. I usually end up dying a lot trying to grab something like this. See? <laughs> there you go. I died. Oh, oh, I'm so ashamed of myself. That is so amazing. I need to stop. I keep throwing apples instead of freaking, um, instead of gliding. Due to the fact that, um, Super Nintendo controls are much more comfortable to use than a keyboard. Yeah. So yeah. I mean, like, what is this? Like, why do they hate him so much? I understand he feels food, but why are they shooting at him with bows and arrows and throwing barrels at him? Like, pretty sure there's way more efficient ways to do this. Oh well, at least I grabbed the goddamn freaking crystal. Ah, dang this game. Uh -huh, gotcha, gotcha. But yeah, so there's always crystals that get me killed like once or twice just trying to grab them. And then once I'm done with those, I can just move on with the freaking game. But yeah, arrow guys are definitely one of the more annoying bad guys in this game. Especially when you're trying to grab onto a ledge and then they shoot arrows at you. So they can shoot at different angles, so they can pretty much hit you from any direction you're on. So they're just pricks. Yeah, so this game is not that long, actually. It's pretty decently short, so it shouldn't... shouldn't... it shouldn't, um cut into too many parts. I didn't want to take the loin cloth in case there was a red crystal somewhere around there. I guess there wasn't. I guess I'm just wasting my time. Ooh, chicken! Yum. <laughs> only in the super only in the old school gaming world would you find stuff like chicken and crap just floating around in a freaking um Oh crap, I'm dead, I'm dead, I'm dead. Ooh. Save. Oh, fuck you guys. Anyway, yeah, so, yeah, I mean, only in, only in the old school consoles would you just randomly hop around, beat crap up, and find crap like turkeys. Like in, um, Final Fight or something, you just punch a trash can and the turkey comes out. I'm pretty sure if it's in a trash can, it's rotten, and I don't know how eating it would restore your health. I'm pretty sure it would kill you. But, you know, that's the fun of old school games. You could do whatever the hell you wanted. It didn't have to be that realistic. And they could just make up whatever the hell they wanted. I mean, if you think about it, Mario, Sonic, none of those games make sense at all. Like, how would a plumber get superpowers from eating a freaking leaf? But yeah, I mean... Also, I love the Super... I, I love the SNES systems. Because there was never anything that had to do with loading or issues like that. Just because... Uh, just because, you know, the graphics weren't that hard to, um, to make, so there was no issues with lag or anything, unlike in today's generation, probably. So yeah, this is the first boss. I always laugh, because my sister, she's not much of a gamer, and she, she loves this game too, but she can never beat this boss. Ever. She's never beat this boss. I always have to beat it for her. And I'm like, what's so hard? You just have to jump on him. Once he freaking swings the sword, it's not hard. All right, awesome. We're going on to the next chapter of the game. I feel this is a good spot to cut off from my first thing. So I'm planning since um I'm recording this Wednesday. I'm planning on releasing probably Monday, Wednesdays, and Fridays. That um so yeah, if you if you like my videos, you know, comment, favorite, and subscribe. You know, tell your friends <laughs> about me. I'll definitely though, over time, uh, I'll, I'll get better at this and I'll definitely do much better commentaries and I'll probably ramble a little bit more, but you know, that's the fun of it. I'm, I'm much more random in person and I'm just controlling myself now so I don't scare you off at first. Awesome, I got all the freaking red crystals, told you motherfucker. I'm gonna do it, uh, uh, yeah, 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 boy, boy. Anyway, until next time. <laughs>